Hey church, coming at you here from our campus at the village of Oak Creek. Looking forward to all that God has planned for us as his church. I want to read to you the scriptures that are found here in Matthew 16. One day the Pharisees and the Sadducees came to Jesus demanding that he show them a miraculous sign from heaven to prove his authority. He replied, you know the saying red sky at night means fair weather tomorrow? Red sky in the morning means foul weather all day. You know how to interpret the weather signs in the sky, but you don't know how to interpret the signs of the times. Only an evil, adulterous generation would demand a miraculous sign. But the only sign I will give them is the sign of the prophet Jonah. Then Jesus left them and went away. So as we read the scriptures today and we look at this situation, it's like, you know, here before them was the Messiah, the promised one of God, fulfilling all the prophecies and all the things that were in front of them. And yet, even those that were the most studied and learned in Scripture and knew all the prophets and all those types of things, they didn't even read what was right in front of them as the Messiah was the one they were speaking to in that very moment. The sign of Jonas was we know as we are celebrating this incredible uh, season of time that the third day that Jonah was thrown up on the beach the third day Jesus would arise from the grave and so he gave that last and final sign to them saying this is it right here and so I just want you to know that as we look around us and we see things that are right in front of our face God has given us multiple signs we don't need to ask he doesn't have to prove himself God doesn't have to prove anything to anyone but there are so many things right in front of our face to prove that he is God, that Jesus is the savior of the world, and that Christianity is the only way. It's everywhere. But we have to open up our eyes, open up our hearts, open up our ears, that you might see, hear, and believe all that is right in front of us. Let's not be looking for proof from God. Let's see the proof that is there for God. Let's be his church.